Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Jones Mind Expander. This board features Jones's Christensen Surf Camber Rocker, which is more rocker in the nose, camber underfoot, tiny rocker in the tail, with some slight 3D shaping to it. The camber section is gonna give you all the load pop, snap, and drive out of this board, while those rocker sections are gonna give you a powder, float, and ease of entry in and out of turns. This board's available in 150, 154, 158, and 162. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that had 10 inches of fresh snow on top of baked snow, still kinda snow, and you had chopped chunder, perfect corduroy underneath the fresh snow. Just a mix of all powder day conditions, and I wrote it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This is your standard middle of the road powder board flex. Obviously slightly directional. So with where that rocker is back to the front foot, you get softer section, then it gets stiffer through the middle, then slightly softer where that tail rocker is with an overabundance of torsional flex. You can really twist this board. When it comes to the stability of it, at high speeds on a groomer, you're gonna get some flap and cheddar. That's gonna resonate under the front foot. You're really gonna feel it with this board. When you get into more choppy terrain, if you're not paying attention, you can get bucked around. And when you're riding pow and you sink that tail and you hit something more firm with that back foot, especially if you're back foot heavy, you're really going to feel it. Your body is gonna take a hard jarring. It is not the most damp ride out there. It's stable to a point. So you have to be aware of that. So what I like about the pop on this board is it's very skate-like. Sure, you have that camber section. You do have to load it up, but you can be laid back and just snap at the last minute with it without overly aggressively engaging it, which is nice. It lets you just pop at that very last minute off a side hit a roller, a cat track gap, and it really helps you when you're in deeper pow. It really does porpoise perfectly because you don't have to load it as much, so you're just sort of like popping as you go along. The nose of this board is like a spatula. You pop that 180, it's gonna press hard and fast right into the snow. You're really gonna be able to leverage that board. The camber section doesn't really fight you at all. With the tail, it's high speed wheelies to the point you can just scream wee while you're doing it. Or don't, I don't know, maybe that's not your thing. It's always been my thing. You should probably try it. it makes life a lot better. If you know how to butter and pow, no problem. If you know how to butter on a groomer, no problem. If you don't, this board's still forgiving enough that you'll be able to learn with it. This board has a quick and fluid edge to edge power transmission. That torsional flex really lets you steer it more underfoot. You don't have to worry about trying to drive it out at the contact points. With it being able to steer underfoot, it changes how you carve it. You can still aggressively carve it, lay a trench if you want to, but you can be more laid back. Those medium mellow carves or short, tight, quick setup carves come naturally to it. When you do lay it over, you can load up with that minimal camber section and get some more power out of the tail and really rail that hard turn. This board swoops with ease. You don't really have to worry about it. It's a board you're not gonna stay on top of when you hit a groomer and be forcing yourself to be like, okay, I gotta be a little more calculated with. You can be laid back when you absolutely need to. Who's this board for? The resort powder rider that wants to expand their mind. This board's always a blast to get on. I loved when they made this thing camber. It just made it a lot more versatile, and it still is. If you need more dampening and stiffness, bump up to the Ultra, but otherwise, by and large, this is just a surfy, slashy resort powder cruiser. You don't have to worry about it. You can get on and know that it's gonna be able to handle what's in front of it within reason. And even when you get into stuff that's a little more technical, steep, aggressive, it still won't hold you back. Comparable boards, the Yes Hybrid, the Capita Navigator, the Nerd Superposition. Binding recommendations, the Jones Mercury, the Union Strata, the Battalion Blaster ASIM. This has been my review of the Jones Mind Expander. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here, do you wanna support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.